All right, LeVon, C21 questions, you ready? I'm ready. All right, first question. What song currently hypes you up? What song currently hypes me up? Wow, there's a lot. Um, I would, if I had to go off of Already One by Rod Wave and Lil Durk. All right. What is your signature end zone victory dance? Oh, thank God. Thank God. Take the bow, act like you've been there before. No reason to celebrate. Come on, man. We, we score. So you just, I've been here. <laughs> All right. What's your guilty late night snack? Oh, everything. I, I have, I don't, I know. Oh, so I'll tell you right now, I don't eat. I eat like one time a day, but I snack all day long. You, you go in our pantry, Pringles, uh, actually everything you can think of, even like some Japanese, like the, the mint uh, Kit Kats, the rare ones. Like I, I eat everything. But if I had to choose one thing, Toll House cookies. I will preheat the oven, loud, I'll turn the TV up loud so nobody hears me. Preheat the oven, turn the TV down, cook them all. Open the window so you can't smell it in the house. And I eat all the cookies myself before the morning comes. <laughs> 24 pack two, not 12. No the deal. Man. <laughs> okay. So are you superstitious about anything? I believe if you're mean to somebody, the world is gonna be mean to you for sure. Um, so what goes around comes around, and what's done in the dark comes to the light, and that could be good or bad. So if you train hard in the dark, just know it's gonna show up in the light. If you do things in the dark, just know it's gonna come to the light one day. <laughs> All right, best knock-knock joke. I just heard a good one too, from this like seventh grader that I was subbing for, and I don't remember it now, uh, but, Yeah, I don't, I'm not good at knocking my joke, guys. But I, um, what do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> it's a real knee slapper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, favorite place in the whole world? My bed, <laughs> easily, or the toilet. Okay. That's some calming times, too. <laughs> it's just a real thoughtful time right there. People yes. sleep on that time. You have like the best ideas in there. Sometimes. Right? I mean, dude, the phone searches be real. <laughs> okay, if you were a food or a snack, what would you be? Uh, anything delicious? <laughs> Hello. Toll House cookies. <laughs> I'm chocolate right here. This is Hershey's at its finest. Special dark. <laughs> I'd definitely be, uh, I'd be a, uh, you know what's crazy? Have you had that chicken from BK? Yeah. It's smack. I'll be a chicken sandwich. Everybody like chicken. That's it. Or you can, you know, give me the fake chicken too. I'll still be there. <laughs> okay. Do you have any pets? Uh, no, but I want some. <laughs> I do. I want some. I want two cane core. I, actually, I want like four cane core souls, but I think I'll get two. What are those? Uh, they're dogs. Oh, okay. Corso. Uh, it's just the do you know the dog like the they're really big. You know the little Scotty ones with the long face. Oh, yeah. Now imagine them really big with long saggy faces. Like they look like uh, Great Danes, but they're not a Great Dane. They're just a uh, uh, King Corso. I don't even know how to describe them, but it's a very good looking dog. Like if you see a Doberman and like you're like. Uh, oh, that's like a royalty when they sit up. They look so like classy, so very distinguished. You know, like the cane courses are the same way. Mm -hmm. So they just look so royal and like beautiful. And I just want really black ones and like a tri brindle colored one. I'll be good. We got four of them. Yeah, four. So that way, if I leave, the house is set. I don't got to worry about nothing. There's four of these goons lurking around here. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last person you actually called on your phone. Last person, Jeff Rogers, uh, one accord, amazing man. Uh, met him through uh, mutual colleagues and uh, as well as Kairos, which is, if you don't know about that, you definitely need to go to in Bellevue, Washington. Uh, but Jeff Rogers was actually the last person I called. Oh, false, I'll call Maurice to let me in here. <laughs> but Jeff was like the last call call, so yeah. Favorite candy bar or dessert? Mm, Twix, favorite candy bar. I can't go wrong with the right side. Never eat the left. I was gonna ask. Yeah, right, right side for sure. We on the right, right. <laughs> Which would you rather do? World's highest roller coaster or world's scariest haunted house? Oh, highest roller coaster. Hands down, highest roller coaster. <laughs> I can't do scary houses. I can't. 
I'll run right through it. Every single time I've gone to the 97 point whatever, I ran through it, I, I don't wait. And the chainsaw dude, I tell him, don't even play with me, bro. <laughs> if you could jump inside any video game and experience it firsthand, what game would it be? Apex, Apex Legends. I would definitely hop in. I would be Bloodhound and go ham. Blood home. Give it to me. <laughs> All right, share two of your hobbies. Painting? No. I paint in Sims, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I would say my two favorite hobbies are, I mean, being a dad, is that a hobby? That's like my favorite hobby. Being a dad is like my hands down my favorite and that just has a whole bunch of categories of its own. Um, so being a dad is my first one and my second one would have to be books and video games because I am definitely a book person and I am for sure a gamer. Like I've been trying to get to Apex I've been trying to get to Diamond. I'm being platinum for a while, people. <laughs> All right, well, what's a skill you'd like to learn? Oh, I have been taking extra time to work at AutoZones in the afternoons and weekends because I want to learn how to get under an engine myself, every single type of engine, so my kids no longer have to pay people. I'm sorry, mechanics, but I want my kids to learn from my own hands. What's something you've done that you're most proud of? Uh, playing in the National Football League, getting to my dream, I feel like that was just an accomplishment that needed to be done, and it got done. Check. Check. Mate. All right, so I do a little sleuthing. What does the marathon continues mean to you? Oh, TMC, first of all, that's my son's initial, Taj Martavius Coleman, so TMC, the marathon continues, it means the world to me. RIP Nipsey Hussle, I mean that sincerely. Um, it just, it, it, it means that you got to understand that life is not like, there's luck that lives in the world. And when people get rich by tomorrow, it's just, that's the way it goes. And you can't, you know, get down about that. You can't go look at Instagram and see people living this amazing life and feel bad about, you know, what you have on your own. Like, I think TMC goes well with what J. Cole says, which is love yours. And you, you were never going to be happy until you love what you have. And, and you don't need more than that in life. Like I have my wife, I have my both of our sons, I have our house being built. Like I'm, I'm happy about that. I don't need anything more than that. Like my heart is fulfilled. So I would definitely say that the marathon continues to understand that this is a marathon. It's not a hundred yard dash. It's not a sprint. Like life is a marathon and it's long and you can mess up today. You can mess up now, but that doesn't define the day. There's still however many minutes. There's 24 hours in a day, okay? So just cause you mess up, just a little bit doesn't mean the whole day is over. So the marathon continues is a staple in my family. Nice. Yeah. All right. Now the not nice. What's your biggest pet peeve? If I call you or text you, call me or text me back. If you don't want to hang out with me, if you are busy, just let me know. Because if you call me or text me, I'm answering you back. But if I call or text you, bruh, and you don't hit me, we're friends still, but I ain't gonna call you. All right, best <laughs> thing that you can cook. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, there's a lot. I, I like cook a lot. Like my dad cooked all the time, so like I cook. Um, I'm really good at Thai food. I'm really good at making pad Thai. Uh, I make some good pasta. Um. You know, spicy chicken sandwiches, the chicken sandwiches again, that's my thing. Like, throwing down that seeds, chicken and waffles. I can make some really good chicken and waffles. Mm, 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 mm. I'm telling y'all, Roscoe's who? <laughs> <laughs> All right, best impression you can do. Wow, what kind of impression can I do? Uh, who? Who should I? Uh. Oh, you know, true day. If I had to think about the way that you do, I call that a P. I don't even know what he says, but Bobby from Proud Family. <laughs> we, we want the phone. Ow, now, now, buggy. <laughs> I would say Bobby from Proud Family, just because he sings every time he talks. If you, if you know, you know, you feel me? So, Bobby, definitely. I love it. Because I have no other impressions. <laughs> okay, well, 
how do you unwind or decompress after a full day? Oh, uh, our sons, my sons are definitely my decompression point. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful and just full of love. Like there's no way to be any type of feeling around them besides happiness. Like they're so interested in you, they want you to be interested in what they're interested in and it's like a fascination to see them discover the world. So like my decompressed moment is watching my sons grow because I'm just sitting back like, like, look at that, like, look at that, like, look at that, like, look at that. So, yeah, being with my sons are definitely my decompression moments. All right, last question. Favorite thing about Century 21 so far? Don. Don is my favorite thing about Century 21 so far. Now, Vicky and Lisa, I love you guys, but I met you after Don. So, you know, you gotta <laughs> keep that in there. But definitely Century 21. Oh, your layout of this building is phenomenal, too. And that sweater, the new era one, feels fun. But my favorite thing about Century 21 definitely is Don. But Bethany's dope too. I didn't mention her all day in the video, but awesome personality in here. That's why this conversation has been going so smooth. Okay, anybody else? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that was it. Ah, you survived. We made it. We made it. It wasn't an hour. I'm gonna give it like 30 minutes. <laughs>